everyone and welcome to another fantastic edition of Taste Buds. I remain Chef Randy Chooks and this is my sous chef, Chef Faye. I'm very, very appreciated to have you with me today. How are you, you doing, chef? chef? I'm good, thank awesome. you. Awesome. Today I'm going to make it for you a very fantastic, or we are going to make it for you a very fantastic dish. It's very easy. It's called Mongolian beef. It's something that you order at a Chinese restaurant and what goodness is it if you can just have Chinese in your house without having to, you know, order it from outside. And of course, it doesn't take long to pull off. 30 minutes at the most with proper prep and you are good to go. So when we get back from this break, we will get into cooking Mongolian beef with fried noodles. Welcome back. So now here for this Mongolian beef, we have the beef, of course. Very nice flank steak cut together. If you don't have flank steak, you can get your beef si uh, top side beef and then cut it you know, really thinly and that will give the same effect. We have soy sauce. What is Chinese food without soy sauce? We have some oil for deep frying. We have brown sugar. We have cornstarch. We have the noodles. We have spring onions. We have onions, garlic and ginger. We have freshly ground black pepper, salt, and of course water. And we are gonna get cooking. Okay, Chef A, please, can you put the um, water run? We're going to have the noodles boiling in no time. Um, and then we're going to go for the sauce for the Mongolian beef. So we start with that. Let me help you with that. Thank you. You're welcome. There you go, over there. This is here. There you go. Okay, so we have those two running. That's just gonna boil up. And then we're going to go with the, can you chop me some onion and some, some um, onion and some ginger and some garlic while I go ahead with the steak. Okay, now the secret of the Mongolian beef is to have really thin steak, like I said. Um, you have it and then you just go ahead and cut it, you know, on the bias like that. So your knife does this nagel and you just sort of slice it like real thinly like that. So you want nice long pieces like this, okay? It's really beautiful when it comes out. It's really, you know, Nice, you can just pick a piece of it and just, you know, throw it in your mouth. And <laughs> the world is a much more better place, isn't it? I love Chinese food. I don't understand why it's called Mongolian beef, even though it's Chinese food. Have you ever been able to figure that out? Yeah. It's just one of the wonders of the world. It's really amazing to me. Okay. So the pan is giving me a sign that it's ready to get some oil. I'm just gonna put a little bit of oil in there just a little bit to just get it going for the sauce. And with the oil, you can go either with um, vegetable oil, canola oil, soy, soy oil, anyone, any kind of oil that you prefer, anything that catches your fancy. You wanna stay away from olive oil because it just, it really burns fast for this recipe, okay? So, we have the beef. We're going to cut it all. I'm going to make quite a bit because first of all, it's, Chef Pei and I are in here. Second of all, like I said, I love Chinese food. So, more for me, yay. Remember to always put your knife at an angle because that's the best way to get the best cuts. So look at the nice clean pieces we have here. Amazing. Okay. So we'll just put that in there nicely. How's it going with the ginger and garlic? Coming in. Awesome, just gonna turn this down a little bit. So now I'll just put the onions in there. And whoosh, wait for the sound. There we go. That's the sound of greatness. Okay. So here goes the onions in here. Now, because the pan is really hot, we have to turn it down so it doesn't burn the onions. Um, I'm gonna grab some of the garlic that Chef Pei has going on here for me. And toss that in there as well. 
while still constantly stirring the pan. And the smell that hits you after you put oil and garlic and onions in the pan is just amazing. And then when you hit it with some ginger, that's like the holy grail of Chinese food. The aroma is just to die for. Okay, now that it's cooled down a little bit, we turn up the heat a little bit more. Yes, that smell is giving me life right here, right now. I'm gonna hit it with um, the soy sauce. Yes, why not? I'm gonna hit it with the water as well. Yes, remember we're making the sauce, okay? So we need all of this to just come together and be the coolest kid in class. I'm gonna hit it with some brown sugar as well. That's gonna help, help everything come together and caramelize and just give it some good thickness. It's not for the sweetness as much as it's for the thickness of it. So that's all these flavors coming together for that goodness that we know as Mongolian beef. This is gonna be so yummy. Don't you think so? Totally agree. Awesome. So we keep going with that. Okay. Well, while that is boiling away, let's just clear up this place. Oh, look at that go. That is just boiling away, boiling away. So you wanna hit it with some salt and some black pepper as well, just so that that wonderful taste is complete. Okay, now that we have the beef all done, what we're going to do is we're going to coat it in some cornstarch. Cornstarch is a natural thickener, so once it goes in there, it becomes that thick goodness of meat. And it also softens up the meat a little bit, so it's more malleable. I love the smell going on in here. It's going on, and this is one of those dishes that it's really, again, very easy to cook. Before you know it, you're done. It's not one of those things that, you know, takes time and minimal effort, a lot of satisfaction at the end. So we're just gonna let that sit, you know, and just marinate, like let it just sit in there for a while. Oh, well, this is going on, is that hot enough? Can hit that with some oil. A lot of oil because we're going to be deep frying the meat. Thank you. Ah, Chinese. This will be ready before the delivery guy even knocks on your door with the Chinese. I'm telling you. Okay, that sauce is looking really, really good. Looking like it's ready to go. I'm just gonna turn that off right there. And then we're gonna go straight into... The noodles are looking good too. Just gonna try this. You know, you wanna try with one little piece. Make sure the... It's not hot enough for us, so it's not there yet. Might have to move this to another burner. There is the sauce right there, looking very, very good. Very, very good. And second third, I'll just leave this on the low heat over here. So it just, there you go. Let's try this again, see? Ah, better, much better, much better. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and just put the meat in there. And bear in mind that because they're cut really thinly, they're sliced really thinly, they will cook faster, okay? So. 
The smell is just to die for. I love it. Just try to find space as much as you can in there to feed the meat in. And you don't want to cook it fully because it's still going to go back on the heat in the sauce. So you want to just, you know, cook it very lightly. Very good. Looking very nice. I love. Okay. We're going to go on a quick break and then when we come back, we will continue with this. Okay, welcome back. We're still cooking, as you can see. Things are really heating up in here in the kitchen. Um, we, for those who were not here at the beginning, we put some, um, we're making Mongolian beef um, and with fried noodles. And we put in the soy sauce and the garlic and ginger and the onions, water and oil in the pan and brown sugar, and we just let that simmer. And now we've cut the steak, we've put that in the pan as well, coated it with some cornstarch, and now we're deep frying it. And then we also have the noodles in here, just going on, boiling. Once that is cooked to a certain level, we're gonna take it out and also deep fry it because we're eating this with deep fried noodles. So, that's where we're at right now. This is really looking good. I like what I'm getting off here. And I turn this down. I can't believe I put that there. <laughs> oh, yes. Yummy, yummy goodness. I love. La, la, la. I love. So good, I just want to sing to myself. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Okay, so patience. Yeah, sure. Do you not see the color of this? So good, like yummy goodness. Literally nice. Looks good. By the time this hits the sauce, it's just going to be heavenly. I love it. Okay. Now that we've just taken that out of there, let's put it on a paper towel so we can just soak up a little bit of the oil. We're going to put this back in the sauce and just mix it all together. Hit it with some green onions. And then we get to fry the noodles as well. Okay. So we'll put this back on blast. Quick swap. There we go. Yes. Now we're just gonna put this back on here. Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. Mmm. Patience, come see the color in this. This is amazing. Wow. Looks really good. Can you get me the green onions? Okay. Let's get some color in there. Doesn't this just remind you of what you eat from a Chinese restaurant? Oh, yes. That's the beauty of it. That's the beauty of it. <laughs> I love. I love. Love, love the richness of the soy sauce and the brown sugar. The darkness of this sauce is just uh, too good to be true. Can't believe we just whipped this up in our kitchen here. I thought we needed to have some Chinese speaking people in the kitchen with us to get this done. But now, you can also whip this up in your kitchen. Okay, we're just gonna turn down the heat on that one. Gonna drain this out and then we're going to fry the noodles. Yep. 
Again, we're gonna do a quick swap with the... There you go. And you can either choose to use the same oil or you can change your oil, okay? For convenience sake, I just have this here already. Why not use it and fry my noodles in them? So we need to make sure that that is well drained. Once it's well drained out, turn off the heat, okay? There you go, thank you. Again, we have to do a test to be sure that, ah, oh, yes, that is exactly what we need. The dip fry. Crispy noodles are a big deal in Asia. It's just the crunch of it. When you have uh, dishes that have, you know, sauces like this on them, you'd rather just have them with something crispy so that it soaks into the noodles and it just makes it now soggy enough for you to just enjoy them. So it has a light crunch and then it also has the sogginess from the sauce. So this is a traditional thing, I guess, in Asia. They love their crispy, crispy, crispy noodles. And some, some of them will go in like really round, they will go all like really round discs, you know, to get really perfect small discs. And it's street food in Asia as well. Most times when you go on the streets in Asia, you will see one or two people selling crispy noodles as part of a delicacy for this street food in Asia. So that is looking good, that is looking good. Let me just keep going in. How you doing back there, Patience? I'm all right, thank you. How you doing? Doing great, I'm all loving right. the Mongolian beef, I'm loving it. Just take a look at that. Doesn't it just look good? It looks like a little crispy noodle biscuit. That's what it looks like. Really great. All right, this looks very awesome. We're gonna go on a quick break and then when we get back, we're going to plate up and taste. Don't go nowhere. Welcome back. So now we're up to plating the dish. We have some of the fried noodles, crispy fried noodles here already. And we have the beautiful, lovely looking Mongolian beef already done here as well. Now remember, because there's cornstarch in there, like I said, it's a thickness. If the sauce is too thick for you, you can just put a little bit of water to get to the consistency that you want. Also with the fries, you want the, the crispy noodles, you want to make sure that they're as flat as possible because the more you put in there, the longer it takes to form into a nice disc and you won't have this, you know, clear shape where you can hold it. It's nicely brown on the outside and it's nice and soft on the inside. That's exactly how you want it, okay? So now we go to plating. My favorite part. So, just want to put these on a plate, of course. You want to make sure that the noodles, the crispy fried noodles, are laid down first. It's not a lot of a big deal, you know, to put it on the plate, but because of the nature of the dish, it looks nice, whichever ways. It's one of those dishes, the nice contrast of the dark soy sauce with the beef and the spring onions in there. The lovely gold crispy brown of the noodles adds to that. And it's just one of those dishes that people are gonna wonder, how did you whip this up in 30 minutes or 
less. Amazing. You have some extra spring onions. You just want to tuck that. There you have it. Isn't that just gorgeous? That is just, just gorgeous. Patience, what do you think? Well done, Chef. Amazing. <laughs> well done, Chef. Okay, awesome. So now we're going to get to the most interesting part of the day for me. Patience, I love this part. It is the part where we get to taste. And because I have my lovely sous chef with me here today, I'm not going to be doing that alone. I get to have her do the honors with me. Okay, amazing. So I'm gonna go in for the Mongolian beef first. And some of the noodles. That is one of the most amazing tastes I've ever had in my life. It's a blend of flavors. The sweetness from the brown sugar, the tartness of the soy sauce, the beef itself, how nice and full it is in your mouth, the spring onions, the flavor it brings in, and the crunchiness of the noodles. Amazing. It's just great. When we get back, we'll go into tips of the day. We'll be right back. It's been an amazing time with you today, but before we go, I have some tips for you. Tip for today is avoid eating at night. Try to eat dinner earlier in the day and fast for 14 to 16 hours until breakfast the next morning. Early studies suggest that this simple dietary adjustment, eating only when you're most active and giving your digestive system a long break each day may help to regulate weight. After dinner, snacks tend to be high in fat and calories, so are best avoided anyway. But if you must eat at night, grab a fruit. Thank you very much for watching our show. If you want a chance to be on the show with me, all you have to do is send your attempts to our Facebook page. Just search us R2TV on Facebook. If you want a chance to be in the kitchen cooking with me or with me and Chef Pei, just send your attempts to us on Facebook. And if you have any questions for us, all you have to do is just hashtag at Chef Renee. There you go. And we will be answering all your questions. Thank you very much for joining us. Until we see you again with another fantastic episode of Taste Buds, I remain Chef Renee. And this is Patience signing out. Goodbye. <laughs>